We are currently a little ways outside of Tucson, Arizona. It's approaching 100 degrees, but it's also incredibly sticky and humid because it's monsoon season. So uh, you don't typically think of Arizona as being humid, but it is right now. It's been raining off and on with these monsoons rolling through, which is the whole reason that we're here. So currently, Michael Shane Bloom and myself, we are scouting out the area. We're currently at a state park that I have no idea what the name of it is. Just kind of getting a feel for the area, what's available to us. That way, when hopefully we get some nice storms rolling through later today and tomorrow and the next few days, hopefully it won't be a mad dash, a mad scramble to try to find something to put under that beautiful sky. I'd much rather have some places in mind that way we can go to point A, B, or C when the light gets good. So what are we up to here? Oh man, we're, we're in, uh, I believe we've entered hell, as it's called. No, it's, uh, yeah, we're scouting around, looking for some possible different peaks and cacti to shoot the monsoons with. And uh, it is scorching hot out here and both of us or neither of us are acclimated to this, him being from the Pacific Northwest and me being from San Francisco. Uh, this is a new one. <laughs> yeah. like, it's so hot right now. So I guess the plan is we're going to go scout out another little park. We'll see what's, what's there. And the whole goal is just to kind of um, add some spots to the Rolodex, so to speak. You know, the Rolodex you keep in your head of possible places to shoot should the light happen in this area, so. That's what we're trying to do, is just get familiar with the place. These shoots are always so chaotic. So I'll, initially I was trying to shoot kind of towards where the storm is rolling in from, but I actually found that I got my best shots shooting away from the storm towards where the light was poking underneath that sh storm cloud. It also allowed me to get this fence and the power lines out of my shot, kind of shoot away from it. But the rain wall is just about to us time to head back to the car. Man, it's amazing how much the temperature dropped too. Really, really cool to experience probably a 25 degree temperature drop. Starting to rain, which means flash flooding. It's different. It's pretty cool. was insane when it came in. Uh, not really sure if I got anything, if I'm being honest. We stopped by the peaks that we scouted earlier and there was some pretty beautiful overcast textured sky, but unfortunately it just, it just wasn't as dramatic as we were hoping for. Uh, you know, the drama that you see in the storm clouds, the, those textures that are running through, uh, you know, with the beautiful different colors and it, it wasn't really that but we did stop off to see if we could get any interesting photos of that it's it's so hard to get the location to line up with the condition right so we have these conditions that are flowing through the area and it would be nice if they went over a really photogenic area but it's not always going to happen that way so that's kind of that's that's where the chase is involved is because you got to chase the light, chase the conditions to from photogenic place to photogenic place and then somehow play some foreground speed dating and find something worth a crown. Right now we're hoping to get in front of a storm that could produce 
bit of lightning and uh, so we're just driving <laughs> hope we see something interesting but we'll yeah. see we'll yeah. see we're driving into the path of the next storms that are rolling through hopefully those storms last long enough to still be there given where we're going to try to intercept them so we'll see i guess So as these storm chasing days typically are, it's been an incredibly chaotic day. We were feeling pretty, pretty low about things until these evening storms popped up. Got beautiful light happening right now. We've got beautiful lightning happening up above this peak in the background. See, it's incredible with all of this beautiful, beautiful cacti in the foreground. It's challenging to compose as these scenes typically are. It's very random, literally just alongside the road, but really, really beautiful. And we have lightning in every direction. It's so awesome. What you doing there, Michael? Flustered. <laughs> so I have two different compositions set up, shooting time lapses on both. This one, I'm shooting it pretty wide. I think I'm at, well, I guess I'm at 24 millimeters on this one. And then on my A9 over here, I have it about 50 millimeters, really trying to make the lightning a little bit bigger, more impressive. This one is more about, you know, making this cactus big and, and you know, important in the frame and hopefully having that left side of the frame get filled with a big lightning bolt. There's definitely lightning pretty close. You know, this storm cell is not coming right at us, but it is going to come really close to us. And then we also have uh, holes in the ground, but we also have big storm cell back here behind us that we could turn and shoot towards as well. It's really interesting. This is my first time ever shooting during a monsoon and I don't understand the science behind how it all forms and stuff. So yeah, beautiful and frantic. So as the light continues to change, I have to continuously keep up with my settings. One of the challenges is that it's really windy and the cactuses are blowing around not a good thing for sharpness but you know at the same time when you're capturing lightning or attempting to capture lightning that longer shutter speed is really useful because it increases your odds of catching that lightning so i'm balancing it out as best i can uh, right now settings wise i'm f5.6 for two seconds ISO 320. so that's with the wide angle lens right now i'm shooting a lot wider starting to shoot at about 20 millimeters and then I've um, just kind of tweaked the settings on the A9. Again, just trying to make sure that I'm exposing things well. <sighs> Big, beautiful storm, really cool, a lot of lightning in it. It's really, really fun to witness. So what do you got going on now? Failing at doing everything right now. You're not That's failing. You're Michael Shanebloom. You can't fail. Michael Shanebloom fails. You're too big to fail. At lots of things. And currently getting a good time lapse of lightning as one of them. <laughs> so maybe what's the struggle? Man, the last time lapse I did, it didn't look like the lightning really showed up too much. Ooh. I know. Well, 
I find that the trick to capturing lightning is to take pictures. <laughs> so you should try that. Damn it. I never thought of that. Hit the shutter button, brah. <laughs> That's what that thing's for. All right, I'm going 1.6 seconds this time for my exposure, a little bit brighter. I don't think it's gonna get that much darker than this. I mean, at least you wanna expose for the lightning here. Let's we'll right. see what, what that bolt looks like in this shot. Yeah, I mean, I think this is fine. I think this is a better, oh, man, although that one was a little, yeah. It's it's tough because you know it's so bright versus the uh, the lightning is so bright versus the ambient. But you really you know you need to have the ambient be fairly low yeah. so that the lightning shows up. But you also don't want it to be pitch black or else it's just lightning showing up on a pitch black background. You know. Yeah. So it's 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 a balance for sure. I think I'm gonna do 1.3 seconds. So yeah, he brings up a really good point. Some of these are a really high dynamic range scene once it gets dark, because you have that really bright lightning bolt and then the really dark foreground. So one of the ways that I've combated that in the past is to take what I, I know is going to be a foreground image. And the, this works for still images, not so much for time-lapse. That way I know I have all my shadow information. Maybe it comes from an overexposed lightning strike you know, maybe it's just a really long exposure. And then I will blend that with the with the darker exposed for the lightning image. It's tough as the as the ambient light gets darker, you know, it, it becomes a higher dynamic range scene. And it becomes a little bit challenging to have shadow information at that point. You know what I hope? I hope our photos are as good as our videos. Uh, <laughs> I hope one of mine is good. You know, just one. Just one. So, are you are you shooting for a time lapse, or are you shooting for just a still, good still image? Time lapse, strictly yeah. time. Ooh, God, oh God! I can't believe I wasn't filming that. I'm so oh, I'm so no. disappointed in you, Michael. You're filming me. <laughs> trying to <fo> trying <laughs> to focus. You're vlogging me. I'm trying to vlog myself, and then you're vlogging me f vlog myself, and it's an inception of vlog and lightning and franticness. And I'm like, I need to chill out. Just chill out. I need bro. to relax. Why don't we go back to the San Francisco coast and we can film some abstracts of rocks for a few hours, some tree bark, and and we'll just chill out, man. Chill that out. sounds great, bro. <laughs> <laughs>